I've now had my uh, Smart Cob SE2 installed on my Camax KMX250 MT for one year. So let's dive into my experience with the Smart Carb on this dirt bike. Is it worth buying? Hang on and you will find out. The main reasons to why I bought the Smart Carb is that here in Thailand we have extreme temperature changes during the day, also humidity. In the morning it can be 12 degrees Celsius and it can go up to 40 degrees uh, right after lunch and that is crazy. And also I'm riding on different elevations and uh, this should be a set to forget for uh, carbs so you don't have to do the jetting and I really don't like to do jetting so that would be awesome for me. The Smart Carb they also claim that it will be 25 to 30% more fuel efficient and it will give you 10% uh, more power that I will get into a little bit later and it shall run smoother. I purchased the 36 mm Smart Carb directly from their website. They have different versions of the Smart Carb, so you have to choose what is suitable for your kind of riding. I'm riding the technical slow enduro with more use of bottom end, so that's why I chose the 36 mm. That's what I suggested. I have linked their website in the video description below. And the purchasing process is very straightforward. You just go to the website, you choose the carb that you like, you, you choose what bike you're riding, and what kind of riding style you do and what elevation you live on. And then they will pre-configure the carb for you. So it comes to you pretty much configured for your style of riding and where you're riding, except that it comes very rich and you need to lean it out. But that is the, the process they have. The installation process on this bike was pretty straightforward. It's just to install it as a regular carb. The only difference for this one is that uh, I had to widen the air boot a little bit so uh, it's not covering an, an air intake there. So I had to remove the subframe to make it easy for myself to do that. So I had just removed the subframe and then I carved a little bit in it and then I had free as it should be. And I have a video up here that will show you exactly how I did the installation on this bike. And it was pretty straightforward. After you have installed the carb, SmartCarb recommend you to not do any tuning of the carb the first one to two hours of riding and then you can start to tune it. My carb came with 82 clicks leaner and then I had to lean it out because they always send them in a rich condition. So I have ended up at 30 clicks extra leaned out, which is uh, more or less where I should be, I think. Maybe I can go a few more clicks. That is something I will have to try to do. So tune the carb is uh, very easy. The clicker on top of the carb should be turned counterclockwise if you want to lean it out. And the best way, in my opinion to do it it is either if you are in your garage like this or it's about the same when you are on on the trails just turn your handlebar full to the right with your left hand you give the full throttle because you need to do that so you can activate uh, the clicker and if it is hot when you've been riding you just take one of your gloves and you put it on on the pipe so you don't burn yourself if you are in the garage of course you don't need to do that and then you just take your right hand and you go into the carb, press it down so you hear that you are engaging the clicker and then you turn it either left or right, which way you want to go, lean or rich. L is left for lean, R is right for rich. And then you just tune it, so that is very simple. And then be sure that you have the clicker full up so it's not engaged when you are done with your tuning and check so the throttle is moving freely. So what about the performance of the Smart Carb on this bike? I've used it for over 50 plus hours now and I've, I've been riding in a little bit cooler conditions and I've been riding in hot conditions. We are living at around 300 meters elevation and I've been riding at higher elevations at 1300 meters and so on and I haven't done any tuning of the carb, it just worked well. At one occasion it started to overflow which was a little bit strange but I just took it apart and cleaned it out and then it worked. And I also then tested their support, sent an email and asked what it could be and so on. And they were very responsive, very helpful. And the guy over there, he even watched some of my videos to see, to listen what uh, it sounds like. And he confirmed that it sounds like it's uh, running very smoothly and well. And very smooth is something that it is running. If I compare to what it was before, as a YouTuber, it's very easy for me to go back in time and see and listen how the bike was running before. And I can clearly hear and see that it is running a lot smoother, which is very, very nice. It's more responsive on the throttle as well. When it comes to fuel efficiency, they climb 25 to 30%. I cannot confirm that it is that much, but 
it is at least using less fuel that I can confirm and mostly is probably because it doesn't overflow it doesn't I mean it's not coming out any fuel from any of the hoses because there are no hoses that it, where it can leak out any fuel so that is really really good what about the power the 10% extra that they say you can have I have no idea I cannot tell and I haven't made any tests I don't know but that isn't any issue for me that is running smoother and I don't have to do the jetting. That is wonderful. I'm super happy with the performance of the carb. So what are the good things with the smart carb? For me, it was a very easy installation. I can't say that it was difficult. A little bit more because I had a car in the air boot. When you have tuned it, it is completely set and forget. You don't need to do anything. Let the bike run smoother and it's not leaking any fuel and it's more efficient, fuel efficient. That is really, really great. The manuals they send with it, they are really great, easy to understand, and you get more understanding about the smart carbon, how it works. You even get the base settings in the sheet that fell on the floor, so you know what base settings they had if you change a lot and it starts to not go good, so that is good. The support, it works really great. They helped me when I needed some help, and that was perfect. So those are the really good things with the smart carb. So what are the bad things about the smart carb? In my opinion, there are actually not many bad things. I don't have anything bad to say. If I should be a little bit picky, I can say that sometimes it can be a little bit challenging to do the tuning because when you press down the clicker, it's a little bit difficult sometimes to feel when you change one click. So that is one thing that could be uh, something a little bit bad, if I can say. And for me personally, but this is not anything to do with smart carb, I got a 43% fee to import it to Thailand, but that is not SmartCarb's fault. It is the import regulations here, and it wasn't very nice to have a 40% tax on that one, because that is a lot. But that probably it has been working so great for me, and I'm very grateful for it. So what is the final verdict for the smart carb? It depends on your financial situation, I would say, because it's not very cheap. If you got the money and you don't like to do the jetting, you want to set and forget carb, just buy it. Because it makes your riding life so much easier and it makes your bike better. So I guess your riding will be better as well. But it is a hefty price tag, I would say. So if you don't have the money, there are actually other options that are very similar to this one, but to more or less half the price. So you can check that out, just Google. So my final verdict is that it's a really good car. I'm very happy with it. It cost a bit, but it has made my riding life so much easier and I don't like to do the jetting and stuff. So for me, it was totally worth it. You can watch my uh, video about the installation here. And if you found this video useful, please give it liking and consider subscribing. And thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in the next one and keep the dirt spinning.